Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have a brand new tool for the world of game development, and that is called Ken Shape. This one is made by the most famous of Kennys, that would be Ken Block. Wait, no, that's the wrong Kenny. Nope, this is Kenny as in Kenny and L. If you've ever have worked in game development, especially if you started in the last five to ten years, you have no doubt encountered his free assets. He's got a ton of stuff available, plus he also makes a couple of programs. The first one is Asset Forge. I covered it in the past. It is one of the simplest ways to make 3D models. I would have actually called it the simplest way to make 3D models, but now we have Ken Shape, which is even easier. Now, I gotta tell you right up front, this is commercial software, but we are talking super, super, super cheap. The cost, basically the cost of a cup of coffee if you drink at Starbucks. So let's jump in and take a quick look at Ken Shape, then we'll come back to some of the details. This one is as straightforward as it gets, kind of like a we'll call it a depth-based voxel editor. Yeah, that's what I'll go with. So I'm going to pick the number of uh, pixels or fat pixels to work with. Oops, created one by accident there. And here you can see the environment we're working with. And now what I'm going to do is draw. I'm going to start with that brown color works for me. And I'm going to go over there and I'm going to delete those two by right-clicking because I didn't mean to draw them. I've already given Kenny feedback that I'd love to see a line tool because I can't draw straight lines on my own. Uh, he tends to support these things for quite a while, so I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, several updates over the lifetime of this program, and he never charges for upgrades, by the way. So there we go. We got the initial layer that was probably painful to watch, uh, and I'll do, I'll do another one here. I'll do another one here, like so, and then I'm going to do two down the middle. So all we are doing, oops, again, I can't draw straight with a mouse. All right, so there we go. And what we're doing is creating a window here. So let's just fill this one in like so, and this one in like so, and I'll do it the other side like that, and like that. And now I'm gonna pick a different color, and we're going to fill in the space. By the way, I've also asked for a flood fill, so hopefully that happens. And if uh, Kenny's watching this video, in watching me paint, you now understand why I need a line tool because I am painfully bad at drawing pixels. So let's just go ahead, oops, wrong color. I'll go ahead and fill that gap back in like so. And then we will come back here and we will fill this space in as well, just like that, like so. All right, we're good. And now we're gonna go over here, fill this in as well. And what I'm doing is basically drawing a pixel art window, some magical, uh, all right, so I really can't paint with a mouse. I should just point that out right now. So I'm just going to finish my painting. I'll do my touch-ups all at once because I'm going to make another mistake, no doubt. All right, so there we go. We've got very basic shape. Could be whatever you wanted. Uh, you know, anything you can think to draw in traditional 2D pixel arty look. All right, there we go. So there is our shape. So I basically just drew a pixel art window for those of you that don't recognize my artistic brilliance. And the cool thing here is I can now come down here to preview. And look at that. We just created a 3D model. Literally, probably the easiest way to create a 3D model like this. Now what you're going to find is, okay, well, there's no depth here. This doesn't look realistic because, well, there's no depth. Well, let's come in here to the depth category. Now you're going to see there are a number of different numbers available across. So things that are one are one uh, voxel or cube deep. So we look here, everything is a one. And you can see in action like so. So what I am now going to do is go back here to depth and we're going to two all of our ones. So all of these guys on the outside edge, we're just going to go ahead and paint them as twos. Around here, two. Over here, two. Down the middle, guess what? Two. All right. Hey, I'm getting much better. I can, I can draw numbers in a straight line much better than I can draw pixels. All right. And then let's get the bottom and then the other way. By the way, if you screw up, if you right click it, it will reset it to, it's kind of like an eraser. It resets it back to one. All right. There we go. So we've got two. Oh, I didn't do my little layer. All right. Let's just. Two depth there, all right, there we go, and done. All right, so now that we've done that and we've defined depth, we go back to look at our preview. Oops, I missed a pixel. <laughs> all right, well, you can see the end result of me missing a pixel is we've got a little gap right there. But as you see, now we have depth going on. So I can go on back over here, depth, grab my one mixing pixel, and there you see, 
So I just created a 3D window in, if I was actually any good at drawing a straight line, that would have taken me about 20 seconds. And now you've got something that is ready to go in the world at large. So now what I can do is head on over here to the export category. Uh, I pick the type so I can export as a 3D file, a voxel file, or as a, a GIF or a GIF. Uh, so I'm gonna go here, 3D. I'll stick with the OBJ format, but you can see there's also FBX, which are the ASCII format, by the way. Uh, Collada, GLTF, and STL files. We can choose how to texture it. Uh, so let's do unwrapped on that one. We are going to optimize the export. So let's go ahead and create that. And sure, untitled one. And now we need trusty Blender. All right, come on, trusty Blender. All right, so here we go. We are now in Blender. Uh, there's our default cube that unfortunately needs to be sacrificed by cube. And we'll go up here, file, import, OBJ. And that was temp right there. There's our file, like so. And there you see, we have a textured 3D window. Uh, the lighting you're seeing is from the literal light in the scene. Uh, so let me just show you that, because that light was showing things a little bit weird. So there you go, one of the easiest ways to make a 3D model that you are ever going to encounter. And obviously, if you want more depth, uh, so let's get out of here. All right, so we'll go back to the depth page here. Uh, you can go up to like say eight, and let's make this middle really chunky line. Oop. Uh, well, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to be kind of randomly make. And so you can see the, the preview results over here immediately, which, by the way, you can change the size of. And now we've made something that's kind of a little bit creepier. So there is how you would use this guy. Uh, it is for rapidly creating, I don't I don't know if we'd call this like 3D extrusions, uh, but it's definitely a neat concept. Over here, you can have multiple different palettes, so you can uh, load in a palette file from a PNG file, an index PNG, to get your palette of colors. And then over here, you have your brushes for drawing with. I've been using just a straight pixel brush, but you can also do, so if you want to do like rounded edges, you can do it like that. Now you see, I'm not drawing necessarily in the right direction here. But if I use the mouse wheel, I can make it go. You see, you'll actually notice over here that they're rotating. We also have like a rounded brush, like so. And my results are going to be really weird now. But that is it. That is the idea behind Ken Shape. It is the essence of simplicity because uh, it does exactly what it does and nothing more. And what that is, is basically creates rapid 3D objects. So if you want to create things, uh, the only real kind of caveat you're going to have here is due to the eight uh, pixels, I guess you can make things that only this is the maximum depth. But there's nothing to stop you from doing. Like if you say, if I want to do a TIE fighter, I could do the TIE wing, the center body, uh, and then say a wing strut, and then you can compose them all together. Uh, another area where you could probably use this guy, since you can definitely export it out into other worlds, this is one of the fastest ways to do base voxel models that you can then bring into another tool. So that is Ken Shape. It is really straightforward in what it's what it's about, but it's also really uh, simple in how it works, and you can create really rapid results with it. Uh, so again, your, your instructions are down here, pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's on, head on over back to the web page. So this is Ken Shape. It is available at tools.kenny.nl forward slash Ken Shape. I'll, of course, have that linked down below. Uh, we pretty much covered everything that we were looking with. You, you color with, you, you draw with colors, and then you paint with numbers for the depth of them, and then you generate a 3D model. So you're going to see a good example where he's using those cut-out shapes to make these divots in the thing. So you can rapidly make a number of different models. On that topic, I could have actually showed you, it has a number of samples in here. So if I come here and go open, uh, I'm not going to save my masterpiece. So we'll go to where I downloaded that, uh, right here, samples. Okay, so here is a moped. So there you can see the base drawing of it. There you can see the depth drawing of it. And then here you can see the final work. And then we've got other examples, such as, for example, uh, skyscraper right here, the drawing, the depth chart, the end result. So you could definitely rapidly create 3D models using this guy like in a minute or two with very, very little to no talent. You can actually create a, a very interesting and consistent aesthetic start art style. And then once again, you can export it out to a variety of different formats. All right, so that is that. You can generate 3D models from pixel art, export 3D objects in OBJ, FBX, DAE, GLTF, or STL formats. You can export vo um, voxel models that are compatible with Magic of Voxel, which if you've never used, is an excellent voxel animation or voxel um, art package. I've done a number of videos on it in the past. And it does automatic UV mapping, so you can choose between vertex colors, a map, or an unwrapped UV map. 
Uh, and as I mentioned, there is a cost attached. It is $3.99, which is a little bit cheaper than I think a venti latte at uh, Starbucks in the US as an equivalent. So uh, that is that. Um, also, by the way, if you want to check things out, he also did a, another video uh, or another uh, project called Asset Forge. I love this one. I covered it in the past as well. It is kind of a kit bashing 3D creation tool. Once again, if you are um, artistically challenged or you want to create a bunch of art rapidly, uh, Asset Forge is a great choice there as well. Uh, so again, this is Kenny of Kenny and L fan uh, of Kenny of Kenny and L fame that is. Uh, and if you're just looking for a way to support him, uh, it's a great way. Pick up a tool, three bucks, four bucks, and it goes a long way towards keeping the free stuff coming from Kenny. So let me know what you think of this one. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.